we know you guys first through these big comic book movies. I was wondering, what did you think of, uh, you know, Spielberg made this proclamation last year. It was very interesting. It picked up a lot of press, but he thinks that they're going to go the way of the Western, that there'll be a bubble. What do you guys think of that sort of prediction for that particular genre that you both, you know, are such big parts of? I think it'll level out. I don't know if it'll fade out completely, but it feels like, and knowing what's coming, it feels, it just feels like there's too much, too much of it. But you know, there's also been some great comic book movies made, and to be fair play, yeah. I think the whole movie industry has changed. I think the movie industry, good is not good enough anymore, everything's got to be great, there's just so much good TV and other things, and I think it's a good thing for our business. If, if only excellent movies make it through, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I think I don't think I don't think you know they're gonna die in the way of the Western because I think not wishing to disagree with Steven Spielberg, <laughs> on camera, um, but I think you know purely by virtue of the fact that these comics have been around for decades, and if there's a market for the comics, then there's got to be a market for the films. Mm. Right? So I, I think I think I think they're gonna still stick around. Maybe not as as great a wealth of comic book movies, but I think they're still gonna be around for a while. I think everything goes in ebbs and flows. Cycles, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll, there'll be a new version of a superhero movie that come around. But I mean, there's, there's a, a hero myth in all stories anyway. So they're, they're just sort but of But don't versions. you think every time it was like for film, it was, television comes in, that's the end of film. And then yeah. DVDs and VHS, and that's the end of film. It, it's, always, it's always changing. You know, the, the beauty about the film industry in general is that you can't just keep saying to your girlfriend or your wife, let's stay home and watch a TV show. <laughs> you know, eventually you gotta take them, you gotta go out, you gotta go out to dinner. You gotta, so there's always gonna be a place to, to that, that says, let's get out of the house for a minute. And there's something to, to like a shared experience that you yeah. go, all right, we're all gonna, yeah, we're all gonna come in together and like watch something and then mm -hmm. you can talk about it. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's nice. Listen, man, something's working right now in Marvel and all that kind of stuff and I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, I know these guys from Marvel and I know them fairly well and they all get together in a house in Palm Springs somewhere and they and they flip burgers and they think of stories based on a real understanding of comic books and that that's just what's resonating now you know or, or you know all these other movies aren't going to be made I got an offer not too long ago that said let's go back to making movies that are real and I was like I'm very fortunate most movies that I make seem very real to me and whether it's a Coen Brothers movie or whether it's Inherent Vice or whether it's uh, Sicario or whatever I'm very lucky to work with people who tell great stories and you know and that's kind of the point so but you know you go back like on the plane we watched Papillon Papillon is a great amazing story you go back to Esther Williams movies like they seem so dumb but thank God that they were made so it'll evolve into something else which will evolve into something else and you know it just everybody has a complaint but we'll look back on it I think fondly I don't think anything bad is happening with storytelling right now